Support us by subscribing, ring the notification bell, press all, and thumbs up. Thank you. Today, CBP's Office of Field Operations is assisting the NFL in securing Super Bowl 55. We are using our latest technology and our VAX machines with our expertise in inspections to inspect all the provision trucks and cargo containers entering the, the stadium. In one checkpoint, all the documentation is verified that the person has a purpose to actually enter the stadium. After they're verified that they have access to the stadium, they're brought to us where we're using our VAX machines to x-ray the uh, commercial trucks, the commercial vehicles, whatever it may be, and ensure there's no threats involved. Afterwards, explosive canines are screening the vehicles as well. If an anomaly is detected, we will work with our law enforcement partners to verify what the anomaly is and it does not present a threat to the actual the players, the guests.
Flip. Flip. One more time. Like that. For a long time. But as far as to get a Air Marine Operations was invited to support uh, Super Bowl 55. Uh, the NFL, uh, the FAA, many local and federal law enforcement agencies. Air Marine Operations uh, brings a unique capability with the assets that we have and subject matter expertise with the crewmen that we bring to provide security and safety for those attending Super Bowl 55 this year. Personnel and assets were brought in from all over the United States, from as far west as El Paso, Texas, and as far south as Puerto Rico. Air Marine Operations, or AMO, is working with state, local, and federal agencies to include the Department of Defense. Uh, it is a comprehensive, multi-layer approach to law enforcement, providing everything from TFR enforcement and persistent surveillance. Air Marine Operations has been brought in, and we are working closely with the NFL, the FAA, state, local, and federal agencies. Uh, we're providing uh, temporary flight restriction enforcement, which is TFR, as well as persistent surveillance. We also have units on the water, on the ground, and in the air. So some of the things you're going to see over the next week, um, you're going to see these aircraft demonstrating their capabilities to various news organizations. We also want to showcase what, the, uh, what air and marine operations does on a day-to-day -day basis throughout the United States, especially on our border along Mexico, Canada, and the coastal regions. Uh, behind me you see UH-60 Blackhawks, and we also have an AS-350A Star helicopter, capable of interdiction, detection, surveillance, and uh, TFR enforcement during the week of uh, Super Bowl 55. Air Marine will be providing that persistent surveillance, and uh, we take our job very serious. We do this day in, day out, 24-7, 365, throughout the United States, especially on the border. But we're going to take those resources, that expertise, we're going to bring it to the area of uh, Tampa for the Super Bowl, and uh, we're going to work, like I said, with multiple agencies to ensure the safety and security of all those that are attending. If we're doing our job right, you won't even know we're there. At Super Bowl 55, we are going to be providing that air coverage, that top coverage that I mentioned earlier, a bird's eye view to the command centers, but also really important, we're working with the AMOC, the Air Marine Operations Center. They're the ones who are going to be actively monitoring the airspace using radar. They're going to be providing the information to detect, to track, and coordinate the interdiction of anybody violating the TFRs during Super Bowl 55. This year at Super Bowl 55, Air Marine Operations will have maritime units on the water providing enforcement, uh, enforcement enhancements to the local and state uh, law enforcement agencies. We'll also have the agents and officers in the air with the aircraft you see behind me. But real important to this operation is the AMOC, the Air Marine Operations Center. They will be the ones providing the radar. They will be watching this area. They will detect, track, and help coordinate the interdiction of anybody who violates that TFR.